Okay, here we go. This will be a short video, most likely. Myself and my wife, we went out to lunch last week. It's probably the best Jewish deli here in Las Vegas. And we go there about once every two months to get the matzo ball soup. Um, we love matzo ball soup. If you've never had it, it's fantastic. Something happened, though. We ordered the food. We're sitting down having a good time. They bring the matzo ball soup. They brought our bagels with cream cheese. They brought our grilled chicken sandwich with Swiss cheese melted on top. It came out very good. And we ordered uh, some potato pancakes, which is also a Jewish appetizer. And even those are fantastic. If you've never had those, they serve um, Jewish potato pancakes with applesauce and sour cream. And oh, it's so good. So I start eating, and I notice that there's something wrong with my throat. So I'm eating some more, and something's happening to my throat. And I'm eating some more, and I didn't put two and two together yet. I didn't know what was happening yet. I eat a little bit more, and the food almost got stuck in my throat. And I started shaking inside. I started panicking. And then I realized... It was a demon choking me. He was choking me in broad daylight. This happened at lunchtime, broad daylight. Tristan is sitting right there, my wife. I told her what was happening. I sought out the Lord immediately, like, what's wrong? Well, you're acting prideful. I didn't even know I was. I. I didn't know that I was acting prideful, but when I self-examined myself, I saw that I was, and I didn't even know about it. So I started humbling myself immediately. I got a little bit better. I couldn't eat too much anymore because he was still choking me, but I, I took a couple sips of soup and a couple small things Tristan was finishing up her lunch. I, I basically stopped eating, kind of, and I worked on humbling myself and humbling myself and humbling myself. And that right there is how important this is to God that we work on humbling ourselves, letting the pride go. It is so important to God not only will he send a demon to choke you, you heard me right. God sends the demons just the way the Bible says so. Stop saying Satan sends the demons. Satan doesn't send anybody. It is God who is master of the universe, master of the angels, master of the demons, and he sent the demons Excuse me, one second, please. And he sent the demon of depression to attack King Saul, and it was also a demon of fear and or anxiety. The Bible states this clearly. Read it. And he sends the demons to us. Stop giving Satan credit. Not only is humbling ourselves so important to God that he will send a demon to choke us, but it's so important to God that we humble ourselves. I'm going to say on the all-time list of importance, it is number three, all-time. Number one is love the Lord God. Number two is abide in the Son, whom we call Jesus in the English language, even though he has many names, and after those two, humbling yourself is number three. That's how important it is to work on humbling yourself day and night, day and night, the best you can with the grace God is giving you.